Hello there, Hidden Hermit, and it's time for another random reading because it's Wednesday. I don't know. Um, you may know the drill. I use some astrological dice to uh, figure out who this reading is for based on your sun and moon signs. Today I'm using Nadine, my fountain deck. Uh, she has been cleansed and shuffled, but as usual, I will shuffle it just so that you see that I'm not fixing the results, as it were. Uh, today is a Wednesday, the 22nd of August, 2018. The sun is in Leo. It's the last day of Leo. Um, I'll be honest, I'll be quite thankful for that. It's been a crazy Leo season for me this year, but you know, these things are sent to try us. The moon is in Capricorn. Okay, so just a little bit of a shuffle from the Dean here and then we'll figure out who this is for. Excuse me while I'm rude and I clear my throat. <clears throat> That's much better. Okay, so who is this reading for? Right, okay, we've got sun in Pisces, moon in Aquarius. So is that you? Are you a Pisces sun? Are you an Aquarius moon? Watery and airy. Pisces sun, Aquarius moon. I don't put any music on. Usually I've got a little bit of bark playing in the background. Just, you know, to be a little bit pretentious. Today we're going with silence. Quiet in that mind. One last we shuffle. And I'll do my usual five card spread, meaning one card to suggest what is going through your heart and mind at the moment, Pisces Sun. Um, a card to suggest a situation that you are currently facing, Pisces Sun, Aquarius Moon. And then three cards to break down that situation. And of course, I won't know what the situation is, you'll know. So the, the reading is kind of a bleak in a way, but I am... I will use whatever whatever comes to mind, whatever comes to my heart. Let's just do this, shall we? Let's just do this. One more cut. So yeah, here we go. This is what's going through your heart and mind at the moment, Pisces Sun. This is um, a situation you're currently facing. And down here we have just a breakdown of past energies, energies surrounding the situation, and possible future energies surrounding the situation. You will know what this is all about. I don't, but let's see if we can find out. So, Pisces Sun, there's a feeling of judgment at the moment. Uh, a very fiery air in your life at the moment. Um, maybe you're being judged, maybe you are judging. Now, judgment isn't really a Pisces trait, but, you know, everybody's different. However, an Aquarius, Aquarius can be, I wouldn't say judgmental, but no, they can be quite critical, they're quite analytical, those Aquarians. Okay, so the... the the situation and the vibe at the moment is I'm getting a feeling of celebration, of completion. So this is pretty good. So maybe you've been judging something and you've come to a conclusion and it's worked out pretty well for you. Right, let's let's just chuck all these over in one go, shall we? Yay, it's the hermit. Don't we just love the hermit? Well, I do, clearly. Right, so Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups is interesting because... Um, you Pisces, you water signs, you, you probably get on quite well with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups for me is, um, I, I love the hermetic title, the, the, the Princess of the, of the Waters. And just it's kind of nice. It's a very sort of sweet, gentle, um, kind and dreamy, much much like a Pisces. Um, if ill-dignified, there's a sense of immaturity, I think, some selfishness, maybe lack of boundaries. But um, because of this four of wands, I don't think anything's going to be ill dignified here. So that energy leading up to the situation is it's possibly going to be one of um, yeah, you know, sort of uh, communication and kindness and sweetness. I'm not sure how judgment comes into that, and we've got a very, very good contrast here with with the water and and the fire, the fiery judgment card. And judgment for me is a very fiery card. So yeah, some of these energies leading up. Um, I'm one of innocence. Um, you Pisceans, I'll just show off my dice. There we go. You can't really see that. It's very glittery and sparky. But there you go. So, so yeah, um, 
your watery vibes have been coming through quite well at the at the moment. You've been faced with this fiery situation, but I think I think you've probably doused it with, with with your with that amazing wateriness if you got. Now up here, the situation, what's going through your heart and mind is very fiery. But the the four of wands is the is the party card, and I do love the four of wands in the fountain deck. The light isn't brilliant, to be perfectly honest, but it's like a a bunch of people running around with giant lightsabers. If Star Wars is your thing, <laughs> it's a cracking card though. As is the Hermit. Um, I struggle to find a Hermit card that I don't like in any deck, but I do love this one. You've got this guy in a dark wood. He's got, he's got a, another kind of lightsaber in one hand and a torch in the other, illuminating his way. Very striking woods that he's approaching. I love it. So maybe recently you've you've looked inside yourself perhaps this perhaps this sense of judgment is is one of yourself and Pi piscians are very good and as are aquarius at um being quite introspective and very analytical and and you know i, I wouldn't say aquarians are, are judgmental per se but but they do like to to weigh up the they do like to think about things like that so maybe the situation of 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 judging something is something you've been doing to yourself Maybe you've um, had a situation, maybe, I mean, Pisces do have a very strong spiritual side. So maybe recently, in the last few weeks or months, you've been thinking about um, a, a spiritual aspect of your life. And and you've come to a conclusion, and you're happy with that conclusion. You're happy with the conclusion, and and you're, you're ready to move on now, because you're because you're celebrating a conclusion that you've come to, a judgment you've made about yourself. Um, so the energy leading up this this page again is an, it's an interesting this watery page maybe, maybe you've been um you, you've been quite a sweet and gentle to yourself i think and you've allowed yourself to be open and open as, as well as you know introspective you've been looking at that and, and you've come to the conclusion that your openness in recent recent months recent weeks is actually a pretty good thing and you're happy about this future energies the ace of coins so you know the the material sense from the from the the, the pentacle suit um and especially the ace the the, the pure distillation is very much one of uh, opportunity ambition and also quite a lot of quite a lot of focus so maybe this this decision or this uh, self -ana analysis that you've been going through um and you're happy about is is possibly one of focus and you've been trying to get your head around something that you need to do and, and you've come to the con I mean, you've been using sort of a naive energy to about this and you've come to that conclusion and you're happy about it because you've been looking inside yourself and you've gained the focus that you need to move forward as we're moving out this this harsh leo season um yeah, that that kind of feels right to me. Um, the, the story that cards have laid out. Um, yeah, it feels it, it feels comfortable. So, Pisces Sun, Aquarius Moon. What do you think? Does this make sense? Have you gained some focus from looking inwards, and are you very happy about it? Um, if I if this spread came out for me, I'd be happy. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, if anything makes sense in there, if you are a Pisces sun and Aquarius moon, please do leave a comment. Um, if I'm completely off, or if you interpret this, this spread slightly differently, feel free to leave a comment, because, um, yeah, we're all learning at the time. We're all looking inside ourselves, especially those who identify with the Hermit card. So any feedback would be great. In the meantime, Pisces sun, your moony Aquarius, I hope you have a lovely Virgo season. Okay. Thank you very much.